Hello, my name is Keith Barker, and on behalf of the entire CBT Nuggets family, welcome to Security Plus. Let's jump in. I wanted to chat with you personally just for a moment on how you and I can get the absolute most out of this course. The first secret is to schedule time so you can watch the videos. So it doesn't take a lot of time. The key is making some time and then actually watching the videos. And as we go through the videos together, they're a lot of fun. So not only will you be learning from the videos and improving your knowledge about security, you'll also be having fun as we go through these videos together, you and I. And let me share with you an insight regarding myself. Now, I do not consider myself exceptionally bright or super smart or anything like that, but I'll tell you what I am, is that I am persistent. For example, this weekend, there's this extension cord that I was unraveling. I thought to myself, oh my goodness, how am I ever gonna figure all this out? And the answer is, you just start, and you start working at it and working at it. And eventually, you're done. And I still remember back in the early 90s when I first learned about a CCIE and I read an article about it, I thought to myself, wow, Cisco's at the time highest certification level. And in the early 90s, I didn't know anything about Cisco. So what I did was I got some material together, I started studying, and then step by step by step, now I've got a couple of CCIEs. And I've done the same thing with Checkpoint and Juniper and Hewlett Packard and other vendors in learning their technologies. It's just starting off and keep on moving, just being persistent. So together, you and I can master this content. Another technique that I found very, very helpful is committing. And what I'd like you to do is commit to an exam date, the month and year when you are going to take the CompTIA Security Plus certification exam to become CompTIA Security Plus certified. Now, making a real commitment involves letting others know about it. And what I'd like you to do is let me know about it on my Facebook page. And the best way to reach me on Facebook is on my page at Keith Barker Networking. And all you have to do is go to that page and say, I commit to Security Plus exam, and then the month and year. So maybe it's January of 2000XX, whatever the year is going to be, or July of that year. And there's some power in that. When you commit publicly and you let me know when you're taking your certification exam, it's going to add additional motivations for you to regularly make sure you watch those videos. Now, because it's a vendor neutral exam, there's not going to be any specific configuration questions regarding Cisco or Juniper or HP or Checkpoint. It's gonna be more about applying the concepts of security to a network or to a system, not the literal commands to do it, but the concepts of how it would be applied or when would you use a certain technology. For example, in this network, if we have Bob at this user PC and Bob is connecting out to a bank web server and Bob is using his browser, what technology might we implement that would use both asymmetrical and symmetrical keys and which technology could leverage that type of cryptography between Bob, the end user, and the bank? And then based on what we cover together in these videos, we could answer, well, we could use HTTPS, which behind the scenes could either be SSL, Secure Sockets Layer, or it could be TLS, Transport Layer Security. Those are all talking about the basic concept of using asymmetrical encryption to negotiate a session key and then kicking over to a symmetrical encryption algorithm using the session key that they established. And that, by the way, is what HTTPS and the protocols that support it bring to the table. So going back to the commitment part, please take a moment right now and think to yourself, okay, what's a reasonable time that I can have these videos done and take the certification exam and come up to Keith Barker Networking on Facebook and please post a comment to commit of when you're going to take that exam. And my friend, you will benefit by making that commitment. Another huge tip that we can leverage as we go through this course together is to take notes. Now that could be electronically or it could be on paper. And the key is the more senses that we use to learn the information, we're gonna use our eyes and our ears obviously, but if we also write out our notes, that additional method is going to help us learn even better. Sometimes I'll make a lot of notes and I'll never even go back to those notes, but I do know this, writing out those notes has assisted me in internalizing that information and learning it that much better. And the benefit of learning the information and really knowing it has two benefits. One, primarily, in a production environment, we can implement and use those technologies to make a more secure network, a more secure system. And secondly, for those who are pursuing certification, by taking those notes and having a better recollection of the details, it's going to help you in that certification environment as well. Another great technique that you and I can use is the concept of teaching others. Now, why does this work? Well, let's say that you and I are going to a video on threats and vulnerabilities. And let's say, for example, we're looking at a sin flood attack and looking at the details of how that works and why it works and what techniques we might use to mitigate or reduce the risk of a sin flood attack. 
Well, if you and I are going through this together and you know that you're going to turn around at dinner or at the next break and you're going to actually teach that to somebody else, like a spouse or a sister or a brother or a friend or coworker, chances are you're going to pay more attention as we study it because you know you're going to have to teach it. The second thing this is going to do for us as you do share this with other friends and individuals is that as you discuss the topics that we're learning together, such as a sin flood attack or any of the other hundreds of topics that we're going to be covering in this course together, as you explain the concept to somebody else, that may help identify for yourself some of the areas where you need to go back and maybe revisit that topic. So it's a win-win situation when you teach somebody else because they'll get to learn about it. You'll reinforce those concepts in your mind as well as help identifying where you need to go back and do a little bit more research or study to make sure that you can clearly explain that concept or topic to another person. And the reason this all matters is because we really do, in the 21st century, we need to build a fortress of security for our systems and networks because it's critical for governments and businesses to have secure networks that have clearly identified the risks and then taken the steps to mitigate those risks by putting in countermeasures which is another way of saying putting in controls that help reduce the risk or reduce the effectiveness of the threats against our networks and our systems. I had a lot of fun in putting this course together and while I was creating it, I was doing it as if I'm talking to you personally with you in mind. So I am asking you for the opportunity for allowing me to be your tour guide and coach through this journey through the world of Security Plus. And I've kept this intro fairly short so we can get right to the content, which starts in the very next video. And until then, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.